Well, hey everybody, and happy National Grilled Cheese Sandwich Day. I'm fully gonna be uh, participating because it is that time again, about every two years, I move studios to make it more fun and interesting so you guys never know what's happening. You can obviously tell with some of the boxes and stuff, but I'm gonna just do, you gotta clean out the fridge of all this stuff. So I mean, that's why I'm gonna be participating in National Grilled Cheese Day for the foreseeable future. And it is just a great food and you know, you're gonna need it. and. I, for Thursday and Friday, with the rain chances, if you think that che the grilled cheese and tomato soup is a good combo, I don't. You could probably do that because what's happening is the low-pressure system coming in along the coast, along the Gulf of Mexico, comes up. We get showers and storms coming in from the warm front on Thursday. That's why we're staying cool. The warmer air kind of comes in a little bit on Friday. And then we see that the system moves out by the end of Friday and into Saturday. So that's why we have those Friday and sh uh, Thursday, Friday rain chances. And then we have another system that's going to come through on Sunday. There's not as much rain, but still going to be having some because we're going to be seeing mid-70s stay with us, a few showers, and then we'll start to warm, clear that all out and warm back up as well. So there's a lot going on Thursday and Friday. So, I'll, you know, I'll be doing what everyone does on a cloudy, rainy, cool day is um, packing and eating my grilled cheese without the tomato sauce or tomato soup because it's just... You end up with too much soup and not enough sandwich. So, while well, you guys do that, have a great day and a better tomorrow.